So this is Saint Guillaume le Désert. Saint, Saint, like in English. Guillaume, like William in English. Le Désert. Repeat after me. Saint Guillaume le Désert. Is that okay? Let's go. Hi, I'm Arno from Tour Sud, your driver and guide close to Sète and Montpellier. Today we go to Saint Guillaume le Désert, a lovely village which is one of the most beautiful villages in France. There are many good reasons to come to Saint Guillaume, whatever you are a pilgrim, an architecture lover, or if you like to do shopping. For me, for example, it's a treat to come here as I talk a lot about medieval facades in my guided tours. We have here one of the very few houses preserved from the Romanesque times in France. Look, it's, it's this one, the Rorimi House. Saint Guillaume is a small village of only 250 people. And the name of the people living here is very special. We call them in local language the Sauta Rock, the jump rocks, by reference to the goats. We have so many goats in the region by the past. At the origin of the village, there is a monastery called the Abbey of Gelon, founded at the time of Charlemagne, in 804 exactly. It was founded by Guillaume, who was the Count of Toulouse, and who became Saint Guillaume two centuries after his death. The name of the village, as you understand, comes from the founder of the abbey. And here is the apse of the abbey church. I like it very much. You clearly see the apse in the middle and one chapel on each side. They have a special name. We call them the radial chapels. I zoom in now. Look at this view on the abbey. I love it. Now it's time to come in the church. It's a pretty good example of Romanesque architecture. Look at these massive pillars in the nave here. Or the little light given by the narrow semicircular windows at the top of the walls. However, what is quite unusual in churches of this time, it is that the barrel vaulting is 18 meters high, almost 60 feet. It's particularly high. That shows the power of the Abbey of Gelon in the Middle Ages. Through the southern side of the church, we enter the cloister. Here you can see the twin arcades of the galleries of the cloister. They are from the 11th century, like the church. Unfortunately for us here in Saint Guillaume, half of the cloister have been taken to New York at the beginning of the 20th century and rebuilt in the cloisters, the medieval section of the Metropolitan Museum. When you stand in the garden, as now, look at the top of the mountain and you can see the ruins of an old castle. Since 1998, the monastery is listed by UNESCO in the World Heritage because it's one of the stops for the pilgrims on the way to Santiago in Spain. The main street of Saint Guillaume is very pretty, but there are many other narrow streets around with a lot of lovely facades. There are many small streets like this one in the village. They usually provide access to several houses. Here we are. I hope you now want to come to Saint Guillaume le Désert. And don't forget, anywhere you go, it's always better to book with a registered tour guide. Of course, to not miss my next videos or blog posts, register for my newsletter. See you. Bye bye.